So when you run a YouTube channel, there's this analytic called Content Gap that shows some of the most common searches that people who watch your channel are also looking for and that you're not covering. And one of the searches on that list lately is a Jeep Power Glide, a basement cheap, no thrills umbrella stroller that's not available here in Norway and is sold, as far as I can see, mainly through Amazon and American big box stores. And while my hope is that the model is only showing up due to some sort of widespread advertising campaign, I thought I'd make a video anyway, correlating repeated legitimate complaints from low star customer reviews, a great way to evaluate models you can't actually see before purchasing by the way, and explaining the likely real world design and performance reasons for these complaints based on my experience in the workshop with cheap umbrella strollers like the Powerglide. So what's wrong with the model then? The most common area of complaint is the wheels, where there seems to be a fair mix of parents dissatisfied with how the model steers, which eventually becomes the case with all dual wheel strollers in my experience, and also with the wheels falling off or breaking after only a short period of time. Dual wheel setups take a lot more force to get them to change direction, especially after they loosen up a bit, force that's being continuously applied to the axle that holds both wheels to the fork. And if the wheels are actually falling off on the power glide, then the connection here has obviously not been built sturdily enough. And there's also, in my experience, a good chance that the wheels don't even have ball bearings to protect the plastic channels from wearing down against the axles. The second most common area of complaint that I've found is the seat, where both the seating surface has been reported as being too small and the harness is reportedly uncomfortable for older toddlers, and I'm talking now about between 2 and 3 years old, which is well within the 22 kilo weight limit reported for the model. Unlike the wheels, these complaints are not actually a common problem in my experience with umbrella strollers, at least with pricier brands like McLaren, and are sort of a pity since the often higher seat back of umbrella models, giving them the ability to handle older toddlers, is one of the few advantages that models of this sort offer in my opinion, in compensation for the loose, rickety, and frankly outdated chassis design. The last overall category of complaints with the Power Glide comes simply down to being built with weak materials, where complaints range from the closing clips breaking off, the model bending and developing symmetry issues with the fold, the wheels falling off as I already mentioned, and the canopy either snapping or failing to stay open when faced with any sort of wind. When I set out to look at this stroller, I expected a lot of complaints about how loose and rickety the model feels to drive, which is how the performance of umbrella models is commonly impacted by wear. And while there are those complaints as well, the sheer number of complaints about broken components leads me to believe that for a lot of parents, the Power Glide might not even make it to the loose and rickety stage, but may instead need to be retired to the dumpster well before this point is reached. If you found this video after being bombarded with ads trying to get you to purchase this model, then my hope is that you now see what you might be in for if you give in and buy it. And my honest advice then is that if you only have a hundred bucks to spend on a travel stroller, you should consider looking for a decent secondhand ultra compact instead, as in not an umbrella stroller at all, but rather a model whose design actually comes from within the last decade or so. Trust me, it will serve you much better. In any case, we hope you found this video interesting, and if you did, please subscribe, as this sort of support really helps us to continue making videos in the future. In addition, if you're currently shopping for a stroller, we have a buyer's guide on our Patreon page which lists a wide range of models that we recommend, with a lot of technical and lifestyle related information. You can find it by following the link in the description. Thank you.